Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. A lot of big stories. A lot of big stories to talk about tonight, but first, I have a big announcement to make. After much thought and soul-searching, I, Stephen Colbert, am banning Kanye West from the Ed Sullivan Theater. I have to. I have to. Line in the sand. In fact, as host of The Late Show, my jurisdiction extends into the northern half of Times Square. <laughs> and I am banning Kanye from coming north of Bubba Gump Shrimp. <laughs> OK, I have to. I have to. <laughs> Stay out of Times Square. He, he's been creeping out the Elmos, and they've seen a lot already. <laughs> and I just want to take a, a moment here and, and just point out that this, this next part is the courageous part. I'm also ending all of our high-profile collabs, including, but not restricted to, our collection of spreadable jams, Strawbeezy Jaleezy. <laughs> and I've decided not to release our duets album, Ye and Fen <laughs> sing Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know this has been too long in coming. I have no excuses for why I didn't do this before, except, perhaps, that he has never been on the show. <laughs> Had no plans to be on the show. We have never asked him to be on the show, and I am not uh, sure he is aware that I have a show. <laughs> but I had to do it now, because I was afraid he would just show up at any moment. <laughs> because that's what he did yesterday. The shoe company Skechers said it had to escort Kanye West from its offices after an unannounced visit. In five years, the idea of unannounced visit from Kanye has gone from amazing to, sir, you need to leave this Skechers. <laughs> right now. Try Payless. Try Payless shoes. It gets worse. Unlike with Adidas, Kanye never had any deal with Skechers. Apparently, Kanye is so desperate, he's just driving around searching Google Maps for shoes near me. <laughs> At this point, he's going to have to set his sights lower and be celebrity spokesman for slippers that come with the robe. <laughs> you know their slogan, throw us away. <laughs> Speaking of sketchy, Tesla CEO and cousin saying, hey, yo, take a picture of me with the space thongs. <laughs> Elon Musk. This week, Musk announced that he is going to buy Twitter, and the deal will be final by tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? In anticipation of the takeover, Musk changed his Twitter bio to Chief Twit. <laughs> not bad. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I would have gone with twit for brains. <laughs> Musk also posted this tweet, entering Twitter HQ, let that sink in, alongside a video of him walking into the building holding a sink. <laughs> Get it? He wanted to visualize a pun. Let, let, let me try. Uh, Elon, you're clearly unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> You, you have a screw loose. You have a screw loose. You're nuts. You're nuts. And frankly, hard to watch <laughs> since you're a tool of Russian prop, 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 <laughs> a gander. <laughs> What's on, What's on camera? You okay? Thank you. <laughs> that, that, that bit almost killed our stage manager, Mark, over there. <laughs> okay, buddy? Okay. I'm looking forward to Twitter uh, on his first bad day as CEO. Our stock is in the toilet. <laughs> oh, uh, what do we got? Oh, we got... Uh, is this an update? This is an update on Georgia Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker. Seen here warning that there may be a giant Herschel Walker on the loose. <laughs> Yesterday, a second woman came forward claiming that Walker not only paid for her to get an abortion, but drove her to the clinic. 
He went there so much, I assume at this point he has his own parking spot. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know. Walker dismissed the story as a lie, but his pile of scandals might be getting too big even for Fox News because Brett Baer pushed back. I talked to a number of voters today. Some of them, uh, this, these accusations affected them, to be honest. Uh, they said they, they just weren't sure, uh, and they didn't know if another shoe was going to drop. Another shoe <laughs> going to drop? How many feet does Herschel Walker have? <laughs> Is he a centipede? It would explain why he was such a good running back. With the midterms coming up, President Joseph Robinette Biden is doing everything he can to push his party over the top. Now he's reaching out to your average Joe six-cylinder by playing up his car guy persona, hoping his gearhead reputation will appeal to the Republican base. Yes, with the fate of our nation at stake, the Democrats have a plan. Republicans. <laughs> Just last night, Biden went on Jay Leno's garage, hosted by Jay Leno and his sidekick, Garage where he and Jay went for a ride in a 78 Ford pickup that had been converted to all electric. If you just got in this and drove and didn't know it was electric, would you know right away? Does it feel different to you? It feels all? different in three ways. One, it's quiet. Right. Quiet as hell. Yeah. <laughs> it's quiet as hell. They might want to add some sound, actually, because you know what sounds dangerous? A completely silent 44-year-old truck driven by a grandpa who hasn't been behind the wheel in two years. <laughs> okay? Honk the horn or something. Lena was well aware how rare driving is for Biden now. This is the only time you get to drive is when you Yeah, it is. It's a God's <laughs> truth. <laughs> I know. It's funny. And I miss it. I know. Every once in a while, I take the Corvette out of the garage and just run up and down the driveway. <laughs> I mean... I can understand he loves his Corvette, but I'm not sure that's the most reassuring image. I know some skeptics worry that Biden isn't totally with it, but you would change your mind if you could just see him going up and down the White House driveway <laughs> for hours muttering, I miss this. <laughs> then things got wild when, for some reason, Biden drag raced against Colin Powell's son, Michael Powell. Gemini, ready to go? Ready to go. Ready. May the best Corvette win. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Holy malarkey! <laughs> Joe Biden put the pedal to the metal and hit 118 miles per hour. <laughs> he still got it. He still got it, baby! <laughs> Any faster, and he would have driven back to 1955 and made out with Marty McFly's mom. <laughs> which I'm pretty sure he did in 1955. <laughs> if you like that footage, you can see more than Biden's upcoming movie, Fast and Furious, Too Old to Drive. <laughs> it's a go grease lightning. <laughs> grease lightning, go grease lightning. Go grease lightning. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of uh, old guys, uh, we got a fun tidbit from His Holiness Pope Francis, seen here greeting customers at Walmart. <laughs> the pontiff made headlines yesterday when he urged priests and nuns to delete porn from their phones. <laughs> priests, nuns, phones, porn, pope, oh my. <laughs> and here I thought the steamiest thing to happen to the Vatican was Jude Law. <laughs> now, obviously, il papa is not happy about men and women of the cloth watching the dirty videos. He warned against porn, saying, the devil enters from there. <laughs> but based on what I know about porn, the devil can enter a bunch of different places. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. We got a great show for you tonight. My guest is Harry Washington, but when we come back, some kids and I discuss spooky Halloween movies. Stick around.